Yesterday we were doing headlines and I said that my headline for the draft after day one will be Miami making monster moves. Mm. And that's exactly what they did. They went out there and they got some playmakers right out the gate. Oh, baby. Jalen Waddle is a receiver yes. that can make plays and he's going to come in right away and make an immediate impact. This dude got speed. He got hands. Hey, check this out. He averaged almost 20 yards a pop. 20 yards a catch, 18.9. That's wild. Mm -hmm. That is a big time playmaker. You know what that does? It also forces Tua to unleash it because sometimes Tua can be a micromanager of games. Sure. Now you bring in a guy that can not only be a wide receiver that can throw deep stretch the field, but you can also use him at punt return. And then at 18, they went and got Jalen Phillips and Schrager. I know that you were sitting there just like me looking at these two playmakers thinking to yourself, Miami, mm. all of a sudden, they're going to become legit contenders. One level further with this, <clears throat> with some insight from what they were doing in their draft room. And it's very rare on our show that we come out of the draft and it's like, who's the winners of the draft? And we've got four hosts and there's 32 mm -hmm. teams and we each pick a different one. Nate, I'm doubling down. The Miami Dolphins mm -hmm. won the draft last night. I love and here's it. why. That trade they made with the San Francisco 49ers, they picked up a first rounder for next year, a first rounder for the 2023 season. And do you know who the top rated sure. wide receiver on their board was? It wasn't Jamar Chase. It was Jalen Waddle. Mm. They got their guy. Wow. This is why they made the trade. This is what they did. Jalen Waddle was the top rated wide receiver on Miami's board. And when they made that trade with the Niners and then traded back up with the Eagles, it was because they didn't want to miss out the chance to get Jalen Waddle. Here's the rub. Here's the here's the story on Waddle. It's a serious ankle injury in week five. Everyone assumes his season's done. Works out like a demon to get back on the field for that national title game and plays. And what everyone said coming into this draft, where a lot of players opted out and there was no problem with that last year, COVID, whatever else, what other reason you might have. Jalen Waddle, he opted in, said, I want in. And mm, that yeah. is what the yeah. Dolphins are trying to build there. He played in that national title game. He wanted that action. He wanted to get on the field. The Dolphins are ecstatic right now. And then to add on Jalen Phillips, who I had going 13th overall in my mock draft, and then he comes out and he falls all the way to 18th. That's a steal. Jalen Phillips, top pass rusher on just about everybody's board, comes from the University of Miami, but before that was at UCLA, where he was a dominant phenom before he had to transfer. And of course, he's had some injury issues. There were some questions about, okay, how does that translate? Because he's such an athlete. This guy had the best pro day out of any defensive player in the entire NFL and interviewed off the charts. The Dolphins got their stalwart at wide receiver, who's going to go with Parker and with Fuller and with Gasecki, and then got maybe the best pass rusher in the draft at 18 overall. I, I know we don't often double dip on teams and we like to spread the love. Miami Dolphins fans, have yourself a morning because you had yourself a night last night. What a job. A plus for the Miami yeah. Dolphins. I love and, and I saw a clip with Shannon Sharp talking to Devontae Smith, you know, on his podcast, uh, Club Shay Shay, mm -hmm. where we always do something before do something. Uh -huh. uh, Devontae Smith said, I wouldn't have won the Heisman if Jalen Waddle was mm -hmm. healthy. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be the player that I was. And I thought that was a strong statement for him to be one of the best receivers, win the Heisman, and say, Waddle is that good mm -hmm. that would it would have been a different mm. outcome of my season. I got a weird winner. I'm hearing Peter talk about double dipping. It makes me think of Seinfeld, which makes me think of one of the winners last night, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, also David Schwimmer, also Jerry Springer. What? Northwestern alums. <laughs> Northwestern had themselves a night. Marg Hellenberger, we love you. Um, Northwestern had two players go in the first round. Alabama this, Alabama that, we love them. They're great. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Clemson this, blah, blah, blah. Northwestern, the damn Wildcats. Rashawn Slater falls to them. In my yes. opinion, my personal favorite offensive lineman in the draft. He goes to the Chargers at 13, play his whole career with Herbert, God willing. And then Northwestern's like, that wasn't our cute little cameo. No, we're going to also take Greg Newsome to the Browns. Two Northwestern Wildcats. Pat Fitzgerald, you are a hero of that? Chicago. And Northwestern's reputation is usually, oh, Harvard or the Big Ten, and we got this great theater department. And other, No, they got a great football program. Two first-round picks. And it was also in this whole cloud of, like, Chicago got Justin Fields yes. and Northwestern was having it. So it was like, it was a north side thing. It was a south side thing. Northwestern, the hell with Ohio State and everything for one second. You had yourself a night, Pat 
Both of the gentlemen there, everybody were in purple in Evanston. Awesome draft night for you. And of course, David Schwimmer, whoever you are. Of we course. love you. Mike Wilbon, Mike Greenberg. Yeah. From Northwestern. Syracuse Central. We love you guys. <laughs> Evanston, we see you. We love you. And yeah, if you take the Metra, I do believe about 45 minutes, like a 50 minute ride down to Soldier Field or mm. Soldier Fields. That's really just the happiest we are. You look at you, you're a happy little clam wearing a number one Bears happy jersey clam. to wake up this morning. That's the winner, right? That's who yeah. won. As much as I love Miami, I'm a big Miami fan, but we're sure. talking. NFC, them just having the cojones to go okay. up and grab that quarterback is something I did. I was preparing myself for something boring at 20. Mm -hmm. I think, Kyle, you were as well. Sure. Ryan Pace, super quiet about this. I, I've been honest about my concerns about Nagy and Pace being a little bit protective of their own lives and yeah. livelihood in this, but they didn't do that. They thought about the health of the franchise in the future. I loved this move. I love that it was aggressive. And I love that it's Justin Fields, one of the most physically gifted quarterbacks we've seen in a long time. Absolutely the most physically gifted quarterback Chicago has ever seen in its 100-plus year history. Yeah. And not only that, guys, I mean, the icing on the cake is that there's drama with Aaron Rodgers. Sorry to say. 